This is a review for the commercial add-on called Vera Light Studio. Alright guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing very well. Now, the great thing about my channel is nobody has editorial control and people don't see the videos until I hit publish. Now, Vera Light Studio is made by the same developer who made Quake Motion, and I thought there was a lot of value in that plugin. It made pretty good sense, to be honest. I think the Vera Light Studio is very specific and I think it's a little bit more of a harder sell. Now I'm going to give you a very quick tour of the add-on and I'll let you guys make up your own mind. The developer did send me the add-on and there is an affiliation link down below. Am I shooting myself in the foot? We'll find out, let's quickly jump into Blender. Now to be honest, I want to make sure you guys get your money's worth, so let's quickly take a look at the add-on. Open up the properties panel, or bring in the Vera Lights, and this is where I think the add-on actually merits its worth. Check out these presets, very nice, they're already set up for you, and all you do is select the lighting setup that you would like to use. Now I'm using a completely blank scene here, there's no lights, there's no shading, so let's just quickly select something, and I'm going to untick the spheres, because it imports otherwise, and all I'm going to do is hit setup studio, and boof, we're ready to rock and roll. Now this could probably do with getting scaled up, let's check this out. Let's go into the camera view, I'm using Eevee, let's grab the camera. And there we go, we have a very nice, quick and easy lighting setup. Now obviously scale kind of plays a factor into this, so it's not going to always be one click solution, let's put it that way. Now there's one or two things that I think this add-on actually could be improved, and it would actually benefit the plugin. Being able to save your own light preset would definitely be a benefit. Now you can technically do this if you go into the Blender file, now obviously there's a few Blender files, so you can actually do that and then you can link it in here, but is it any more beneficial than doing something like the Asset Browser for example? That's a tough call to be honest. When you break it down it's roughly a dollar preset and if you actually go to the lights, you can see here we have a whole bunch of additional lights, so let's grab something like the nuclear sign, let's add in a mesh light, let's quickly grab it and move it over here. We now have a nice mesh light, and we can also quickly set up fog. And this is where I do think the value kind of stands out on its own. It's just nice and easy and quick to set stuff up. Now, I'll probably jump into cycles here so it just looks a little bit better. And obviously, I'm using a volumetric, so let's go into cycles. Good chance it's probably a pretty heavy volumetric. Yep, you might want to change this in the shading setup. Now, there is a few other things here that is kind of exposed in the UI. You can change the exposure. You have the Vera light tools, so you can just quickly add in light. So you can add in a top light, so hit add light. I'll bring in a light here, perfect. Side and a rim light. So it is a good tool for quickly setting up studio lights. And this is where I do think it's probably worth the 54 bucks. Now it is completely up to you whether you buy the add-on or not. I'm not going to force you to buy anything, even though I do make money off it. It's nothing to me, I would rather give an honest opinion. $54, pretty expensive to be honest. $38 pro light version, but do you get enough in terms of like presets and stuff like this? I'm not entirely sure. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.